What's good, everybody? This is Chris from Left Hand Defender. I come to you guys today to talk about safety. I know, I know. I know all y'all want to see the run of gun videos and the cool drills and the weapons, but we will get to that soon. I know everybody know that we're in a pandemic and toilet paper and Lysol is not the only thing that's going off the shelves. You also have weapons and ammunition that people are buying in bulk. So as of right now, it's over 6 million weapons purchased during this pandemic alone. And I don't know about you, but that's a scary thought to me. So I want to make it my job to educate the community on their Second Amendment rights and what they need to know to be safe. So let's get right to it. We're going to do a crash course on the four universal fundamentals of safety. Rule number one. I already know, everybody know we got that one friend that gets that new gun and don't know how to act. Just let me show you. I hope none of you guys Treat your weapon like that guy does. But if you do, this class is for you. So, rule number one is, treat every weapon like it's loaded. We're gonna use this for an example, for safety purposes only. So, you never flag anybody with the weapon. Flag mean point. That's just a word that we use in the military. Also, not only someone else, but yourself. I always see, you know, a lot of people like, well, duh, that's common sense. But it's an easy mistake to make without even thinking. You know, I always see somebody at a, at a range, they're shooting, they run out of bullets, they drop their mag, and they have a, a full mag on the table in front of them, and they reach across their self to get the mag and put it in their gun. What did you just do? You flagged yourself. So that is a, a risk. Yeah, the gun was empty. But it's still the concept of safety because what if something was still in the chamber? Now you shot yourself in the arm. You get what I'm saying? So you have to always be aware of, you know, the situation of your weapon. Rule number two. Always. I mean, always. Keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to fire the weapon. I, I don't know how much I have to stress that because it's just so natural for people to put that finger in there. And, you know, wants to engage and do drills with that finger in there. And that's going to be a negative discharge sooner or later. Because eventually what happens is you naturally, you know, want to rest that finger on that on that trigger. And if you're under stress or anything, that any kind of movement is going to fire that weapon off. And now you don't kill somebody beside you or shot a round off into a neighbor's house that you wasn't intended for. So you have to be very careful with finger placement from drawing it out of your holster to setting up to aim. Only time that finger should come down in that well is when you're ready, you have your sights on your target and you're ready to shoot. Rule number three, never point your weapon at anything you don't intend to kill or destroy. And I don't know how much to stress this as well. You know, a lot of times in your head, you have a, a picture, an image in your head, what you intend to do. But because of the scenarios of what you're doing, all the wrongs can, can make a something happen. You know, I always like to tell people, don't be in a rush to do something wrong. And what that basically mean is you have somebody that gets a new gun, you know, don't even know the equipment yet and everything, and they're playing around with it, and they're out on the range, being wild, having fun. Nothing wrong with having fun, but to a certain extent, you have to know what you're doing and be safe, you know? So they're, they're pouring the gun everywhere, and a round incidentally goes off. You can't take it back. So be careful of what you're pointing at, and just make sure when you are pointing at something, you do have the intent to kill or destroy and last but not least, rule number four, always check what's behind, side to side, and behind of what you're shooting at because you never know that you're going to be responsible for that round until it stops. 
And that's one thing a lot of people don't realize. If if a, if a threat is in front of you and you shoot that guy and it hits an old lady behind him, guess what? You just you're gonna get in trouble for killing that person because you weren't aware of your surroundings. So you have to be mindful of that. And that comes down to a you know a whole nother video talking about choices of ammunition and calibers and all that stuff like that. So that's another another video, but that's just something to to think about when you're shooting at something. What is beyond that object? Am I if I shoot this in this room, am I gonna kill Bucko next door playing Xbox? That's something you gotta think about. All right, guys, let's get down to the nitty gritty. I'm gonna show you guys how to safely unload a pistol and a rifle. For safety purposes, I'm gonna show you that this gun is unloaded. No magazine, no round in the chamber. So your first step of safely clearing a pistol is dropping the magazine. Your next step will be racking. I usually like to do it two times. Next, you need to lock the slide and visually inspect the chamber. I personally like to physically check as well as put my finger in the well to make sure it's not around lodged in there. After that, your weapon is clear. Now, on some different instructors or, you know, range personnel, they like to have the gun left in this way so they know what condition the weapon is so when you put it up usually you would put the gun up in that form now if you're going to store the gun back into your holster you can let the slide back forward because you know what condition this weapon is in next up we're going to talk about the rifle so for safety purposes i'm going to show you that this rifle is clear racket all right as you can see, there's no magazine. Also, there's no bullet in the chamber. All right. So first thing first, we're the rifle. First thing first. You want to drop the magazine. After you drop the magazine, you want to rack it. After you rack it, you want to slide lock it. After you slide lock it, you visually inspect the chamber. Also with the rifle, I like to put my finger in there and make sure that there's no round lodged in there stuck. After that, this weapon is clear. All right, guys. Thank you for watching my video today. And if you loved everything, please subscribe, like, and comment. And remember, research and train. See you soon.